It certainly changed my understanding of life and uh, working on a new definition about how dynamic it is as things that look static aren't really. They're dynamically metabolizing, producing energy, making new proteins, degrading proteins, all based on the genetic code. You take out the genetic code, the cells are dead in a very short period of time. You substitute the genetic code with new genetic code, they make new proteins, and the cell turns in to whatever is uh, dictated by that chromosome. So cells are uh, software-driven biological machines. You change the software, you get a different machine built. A lot of evolution has been from uh, minor mutations, uh, copying errors from DNA polymerase, a change in the genetic code. Just one letter being wrong out of a million base pairs, uh, we couldn't get any living cells from it. So the accuracy of the sequence in some genes uh, is absolutely critical. So if an error or mutation occurs, uh, these cells would just die. At the same time, if they're exposed to UV radiation or, or other mutagens, it could slowly mutate into something else. Uh, but we don't have too many of those in the laboratory where they grow, uh, and certainly not in the freezer where they're sitting now. Understanding life is an important part of what science is about. Uh, if we can understand it, uh, we can try and have more control over it. Uh, we can hopefully uh, cure diseases. Uh, we can try and do something uh, about what we're doing to the environment. We're now uh, addicted uh, to oil on this planet. Uh, we have to end that addiction uh, before we kill the patient. So we need to find substitutes uh, for burning oil, for burning coal.